This video is brought to you by Nordstrom. Oh hey man, there are five reasons why you look bad in colors and it's not your fault. You've been misguided and undecided, but I got you, let me enlighten you. So the first reason is you're just doing way too much. You're just trying to jump into all the fun stuff without having your fundamentals down. If y'all ever take a class in anything, the uh, guitar, basketball, let's just use martial arts for example. You're trying to instantly learn how to tornado kick before you can throw a jab. The same way you're just throwing on a bunch of colors and expecting it to work. Good luck with that. So instead what you should be doing is getting the fundamentals down. So in a fashion sense, this means things like jewelry, headwear, bandanas, slings, maybe even sneakers. You want to use these pieces as your pops of color. And the reason why you want to start here is because you just want to get comfortable with colors, but also you get a double benefit. Because these are accessories, they're probably way more affordable and you could probably wear them daily without anybody questioning if you're showering or not. So this just means more wears, more bang for the buck, and you're just getting much more comfortable with colors. And then once you're actually comfortable, then you can move on to the colored garments, but you can still look bad in those as well. Which leads to our next reason. You're probably getting the wrong colors. And I don't know why we all do this, but whenever you first get into fashion, you just gravitate towards the really colorful and really vibrant stuff. I'm going to use another exercise analogy. This is like, you know, when we're all teenagers and we all want to start hitting the gym, we all would grab some dumbbells or some plates and we would just start doing some shrugs. The most pointless exercise when you're first getting started with lifting. Don't lie, you've done it as well. So you want to go for a more pastel, tonal, or dark color because these are going to be the meat and potatoes of the colors in your wardrobe. For for example, here are two denim jackets, both are the same color, blue, but one is more vibrant while the other is darker. I'm better off rolling with the darker one if I was just getting started. But first, let me explain what all these types of colors are and what to look for. So pastel, these are colors with white added to it. Think Easter colors, cream, baby blue, mint, pink. These are a more spring vibe. You know, the cherry blossoms are blooming and all that. And in color terms, if you're a painter or a designer, all that, this would be what you would call a tint. Now, tonal colors are colors with gray added to it. So you'll hear words like clay, slate, stone as the color descriptor, while shade are colors with black added to it. So it's much darker in color, more associated with fall and winter. So you want to think about colors like forest green, brown, navy, maroon. So yeah, you're gonna hear these words thrown around on the internet and now you know. So going forward, I want you to be able to look at a color and be able to describe how that color was made. So let's just say this jacket right here, it's probably a default blue with a little bit of white added to it, not too much. But then you can get two things like a brown pair of dress shoes, that would be orange, with black added to it. So that's how you get brown. And this is going to become very useful as you gain experience in your fashion journey. All of this leads to reason number three, and that is you don't know when to wear white, gray, or black. And let me clarify that even further. You wanna understand when to roll with lighter colors versus darker ones. So I'm gonna give you a good rule of thumb. Obviously, it's a rule of thumb, so rules are meant to be broken, especially in fashion. But if you're new to colors or you're just uncomfortable with colors, this is a great place to start. So again, as a good rule of thumb, if you're gonna be wearing pastel colors, wear white or lighter colors with it. For tonal colors, try and wear something gray. And if you're wearing a shade of a color, wear darker colors as well. So yeah, that is a great place to start until you get more and more comfortable with colors. Then you can start just doing whatever you want. But let me give you an example. So these pants right here are from Kenzo, which you can get from the sponsor of today's video, Nordstrom. You can also get these Rick Owens boots and this jacket that I'm wearing right here from Story MFG. And I'm gonna link a ton of other items and essentials that you can get at Nordstrom that will look good with colors down in the description. So yeah, back to the Kenzo pants. First off, look at the wash of it. It's a lighter mint colored piece. So this would be a more green color with white added to it. Obviously they paired it with white stitching to really emphasize the lighter colors. It's got a nice wide fit, it's very premium. I love the pockets on these. And take a look at the difference when I wear these pants with a light gray, almost white hoodie versus a black one. I'm gonna go with the lighter one. Now they both look fine. I just feel that the lighter hoodie feels a bit more cohesive when paired with these pants. Now let's do these Doc Martens. Imagine I pair these with a lighter pair pair of trousers. Just look at how it looks, especially compared to whenever I just wear black. Black on black is obviously cohesive and streamlined, whereas these lighter cream trousers really, really clash and add unnecessary, not very tasteful contrast. If you're gonna do contrast, you wanna make sure it's cohesive. So that is why you wanna be cautious on what you pair with certain colors. So as you can see, I've got more examples. Here's a lighter yellow green pastel jacket, and I'm gonna pair it with lighter pieces versus darker ones. Again, you can rock both, but one just feels more proper. 
fur. Now let's look at this dark burnt orange jacket. Lighter fits versus a darker one. I think we all know which one looks better. And by the way, let me go into Nordstrom and why I love shopping with them. So Nordstrom always has a great shopping experience, both in person and online. They have all the best brands, designer like what I'm wearing and all these other pieces that I talked about from Kenzo, Story MFG. And they also have much more budget friendly options like this oversized button up from Top Man or this jacket from All Saints. I also really appreciate their Closer to You promise. And that's just a promise for a great customer experience. So they have things like providing a tailor at every location to make sure you get the right fit. And for their online shopping experience on almost every single item, they have a video of the garments by a Nordstrom rep. They talk about the fabric, the texture, the sizing, what they would pair with it, what they would recommend. And all that is very much appreciated, especially when you're just looking at pictures with the white background. It's kind of hard to judge how it looks how it flows, how it fits. So if you haven't done any shopping in Nordstrom lately or you never have, you're definitely missing out. So I'm gonna leave a ton of links down in the description, including this jacket, the Rick Owens boots, the Kenzo pants, and a ton of other items I recommend from Nordstrom, budget-friendly options, designer as well. I spend my own money at Nordstrom quite often, almost too much. So just click all those links down there, open all those up in different tabs. So yeah, thank you Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. Let's proceed. And by the way, aren't these boots sick? I just love the thick sole, the nice leather, the shape of it. It's a beautiful pair of boots. But anyways, if it's a vibrant color like this blue jacket right here, you can kind of sway either way. It's gonna look good with white, it's gonna look good with black, it's gonna look good with gray. Basically what I'm doing right now, gray beanie, white tank top, black pants. This looks great. So yeah, just a quick reminder, light on lights, dark on dark, that's a great place to start. All right, so the fourth reason is you just don't know color theory. The rabbit hole goes deep, especially when it comes to color psychology which I'm definitely not gonna go into depth with this video, but the rabbit hole goes deep, it's worth exploring. But just from a macroscopic level, there's a reason why product packaging matters. Some of them are going to catch your eye and some of them are going to deter you. Companies spend millions and millions of dollars trying to get the product packaging right. So you know they definitely experimented with different colors, different shades, different tones to see which one works best for their product. So when it comes to your outfits, which you can argue you're the product, maybe you should know the basics. So I'm not gonna go into depth with all these color combinations. I've made videos in the past. There's plenty of other videos out there, but you wanna understand things like complementary colors, analogous colors, monochromatic colors, grayscale, which you guys know I recommend all the time. Okay, so up next, the fifth reason why colors just look bad on you, terrible on you, is because it just doesn't fit your personality. And that's okay, all of us should have different personalities. Some people's personalities are going to match with one thing and not another. So over time, you're gonna to wanna to find out what works for you. So I think this would be objectively true. Everyone looks good in darker, sadder colors. It's okay, man, I can't afford a house either. But if you have a very bubbly personality, obviously this would lead to a more vibrant wardrobe. I I personally found I stray more towards pops of color or just colored tops, occasionally colored pants. That's just what works for me because I know myself. When you're first starting off, obviously you wanna hit the baby steps, but then once you get comfortable with colors, you should try everything. So yeah, just give us a time and experiment around you're gonna find what works for you. So yeah, those are the reasons why you look bad in color. You've got no excuse now. You watch a Johnny Ty video. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until then, stay fly, head over to Nordstrom, deuces.